So what was it that you really loved about the courses? One, the actual content, like the fact that I was able to come off each week and be like, do you know what? I've learned so much, but not only were we al- like, were we allowed, were we able to watch like you or Lewis do a technique? We were then able to practice it in a safe space with everyone else. So if you think about like the way that I was feeling back then about coaching, I was like, oh God, I'm not, I'm not going to tell other people my problems. <laughs> I'm not going to tell these people like no way. But it was just so much support within it. And we were all in there to learn that it was just such a beautiful and like I op- like the course was so eye opening in terms of like, okay, let me take a client through a journey instead. Okay, my client needs this. Let me bring this in or like, you know, let me take that technique and put it in. Do you know what I mean? And the course, like, it was support all the way through. It's your guys' energy and passion as well. Like, I was just, I was just living for it. Every time I'd come off those calls, I'd be like, yes, like, we're coaching masters. We've got this. You can do this. <laughs> so, yeah, I think it was just, like, overall what I learned as a coach, the support that you got and being able to watch other people do those techniques and then put it into practice, like, invaluable like absolutely invaluable definitely so what results have you had since working with move. the coaching masters oh get comfortable Kelly get comfortable <laughs> like genuine like right now I've literally said it about five times in this last week like I am living my dream like I'm not I'm not traveling right now that's like the next part but so now with complete confidence makeover like obviously I mentioned we did the workshops and the events and everything like that and we've just, oh, do you know what? So we're now working with a global charity. So one of my missions in like, and my goals in life was to make a global impact. And I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna fucking do it. And now we're working with a global charity and I've just, I've created a course and workshops and I'm now gonna be delivering them all over the world. Kenya, the States, Saudi Arabia, like you name it, I'm there. <laughs> And not only that, but my courses are being piloted in universities and schools in the same places, the UK, Kenya, everywhere. So like that in itself is fucking mental. And I've been sat here for a week being like, as if, (laughs) as if I get to do this and as if this is like my next like step. Do you know what I mean? And we were talking the other day about like delivering the workshops, like actually getting on the plane when COVID's over, going out there, doing it in person teaching them how to like do different things so that they can feel confident and then go and like help them teach other people. Like it's honestly, Liam, I'm like, it's crazy. And also that like within that, we're like developing an app. So we've got a complete confidence makeover app so they can have like access to it and stuff like that. And I'm like, what? And do you know what, earlier I was actually sat there and I was like, I only went on the accreditation and NLP last year. I was like, it was 2020 and I was like, what like in just a year like I'm literally now living my dream like this is exactly what I wanted my business to do and this is exactly what I'm doing so that's incredible I, know. I might have to jump on a plane to Kenya and come and deliver a confidence <laughs> workshop with you Kelly anytime mate anytime <laughs> <laughs> so Kelly what's next for you and your journey in the coaching industry Ah. Uh, mate like so much (laughs) I'm like firstly where am I going first when the planes open and like the world opens where am I delivering these workshops um so our first course like my first course now I get to deliver it next month and that's going to be like streamed everywhere um it's also it's going to have hundreds of like girls and yet like vulnerable women as well which is exactly the audience that I like that is my niche Um, so yeah, we're literally, I want to make events like just as big as like Lewis Howes or Rachel Hollis or Tony Robbins. So like the next time you see me, Liam, (laughs) on a stage in my own event, it's going to be packed with thousands and thousands of women. I'm going to be like, do you know what, Guild? I did it. So as you can too. (laughs) Yes, absolutely. (laughs) Love that, Kelly. That's incredible. So last question, Kelly, last question. And of course it is an important one because there are lots of people listening. Yeah. What would you say to anybody who is thinking about doing one of the courses at the Coaching Masters? Absolutely, just do it. Because like, even with my journey, like 
I don't do one-to-one -one coaching at the moment, but like my inbox is full of people that I'm like, I'm just too busy with the other part of my business. But even those coaches, even those courses alone, like it took me on such a different path that like, you know, I never thought that my courses then would be in like universities and schools and helping like a global, like making a global impact. But have, like doing those courses has given me that confidence to stand there and go, yeah, I'm an accredited coach. Yeah, and I'm an NLP practitioner as well. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you're thinking about doing it for one, it's not going to be death by PowerPoint like those other courses that I researched. <laughs> but it is like, it, it just brings so much energy. And it also like ignites that passion in you as well, being surrounded by so many other coaching masters because of like, you are all on the same journey and everyone's so like, do you know that thing that you like, you become the five people you surround yourself with? Like even just being in that community and being surrounded by people like that, you're like, do you know what? Yeah. Even on this call, listen, as you said earlier, listening to you guys, I'm like, do you know what? You're fucking killing it, all of you. I'm like, yes, let's do this. <laughs> so yeah, if anyone's thinking about it, like this is going to sound really cheesy, but like, don't just be a coach, be a coaching master. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> be a coaching master. <laughs> Get the t-shirt. <laughs>